Hey guys, and welcome to the vlog. I'm trying to whisper, little mama's napping on my bed. Well, you can't see her, she got covered by. But um, she's over there napping in my bed, so I'm trying to whisper because we're trying to get her to take a long nap. But you guys, I am officially back vlogging, guys, more full time, which I'm so excited about it. You know, as um, if you guys seen my last video, I, got, I told you guys how I was going to really thinking about walking away from YouTube because it had been so long since I did like full-time vlogging because you know the pregnancy with getting morning sickness was it was crazy on top of being fatigued and then you know I messed up my knee and everything and it was just a lot but I am glad to be back I miss doing videos guys I miss watching videos I was trying to watch videos but it got you know it was just life was life in. and when I watched them I didn't get a chance to comment but you know i did drop my likes but i am back i'm actually currently watching my good sis i don't know if you guys can see her i'm watching my good sis right now just dory she is always linked down below check out my good sis youtube channel check her out i'm watching her now hey sis i'm back i'm back girl i'm, I'm back <laughs> so yeah but i'm currently pumping right now while she's taking a nap i'm currently pumping and i'm about i have like another 10 more minutes to go um Oh, I'm pumping my fat. Let me switch modes on it. Okay. Let me switch modes on it. So I'm about to find me something to eat after I pump. I usually would eat first, but I'm not really hungry. So I said, okay, well, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, and pump. Y'all had my six weeks checkup yesterday. Everything is good to go. I'm more excited about being able to get back in my pool more than anything. You know, that's that's what I'm excited about. You know, six weeks checkup actual. How you been doing this? How you been doing that? I'm like, uh, you can't touch me with the same foot pole. Lady, just clear me to go swimming. That's all I'm worried about. I ain't worried about nothing else. <laughs> I ain't trying to do nothing else. You feel me? But yes, yeah, so I'm gonna say yes me for the day. Um I'm not really doing much today. I just wanted to make sure that I definitely stay consistent. I'm gonna show you guys my coffee bar because I know I mentioned it in my last video when I was editing and watching back. I realized I never did show it. So I'm gonna get ready to show you guys that like right now. After I'm okay, guys, let me quickly. I want to show you uh, my coffee bar while little mom is still asleep. So I'm going to turn the camera around so I can show it to you. No, it's not, it's not even unorganized. I got to fix. I need to wipe down my, uh, um, I can't think of my microwave. Let me show it to you real quick. Okay, so here it is right here. I put it. You know, above my Kyle picture. So, you know, it's going to be a coffee bar in my dining room. If you don't know, my dining room is full of Kyle pictures. Besides this one that actually is getting switched for this one right there. But you know what? It's full of Kyle pictures in here. So, anyways. So, I have my Keurig right here, which I never use the pot side. Let me turn these around. Uh oh. So, I have. Turn it because I have to find something to put those in. But I have my syrups right here. I got these off Amazon to put my syrups in. I have this sign hanging up right here. Chef Heath's coffee bar. A little bit of coffee and a lot of cheeses. Um, I gotta move it and I'm gonna put something else on there because, like you guys in my last video, I showed you that I got the sign that said, I need today is a little bit of coffee and a lot of cheeses. So I already got it and then I bought. Uh, this sign also um, can't decide if I need a hug, coffee, or an entire week of sleep. Newborn parent life, I need sleep. She's one month, and uh, I, I'm not getting a lot of sleep. But yeah, so I bought these. I got two of these, and this actually all came from Joanne Fabrics, and these all came from um, Hobby Lobby. So that's like the top shelf, and then I have all my uh, Ray Dunn mugs. I decided I want to do only Ray Dunn mugs on here. I have another one. I have more right mugs in the kitchen, but as you can see, there's no more room. There is a couple more hooks right here, but with the cure rig, they can't fit. So I'm gonna show you another spot that I'm thinking about putting them, but I'm not sure. So I have my white chocolate coffee. Did you guys know that this brand? Well, I'm guessing this brand. This is the only one that you don't have to be refrigerated. I was gonna get the Gardelia brand, but they have to be refrigerated. Um, right here, I'm gonna put my sugar, which I use monk fruit sugar and regular sugar. Uh, for the house they're gonna use I bought him these gourmet honey spoons from TJ Maxx they're lemon honey I am not a lemon girl lemon and tea type of girl I don't like hot lemon so that's for him 
Got my coffee stirrer. I got another sign that I got. Uh, let me back up a little bit. Okay, so um, right here is where you can put like wine glasses. I'm thinking about sliding, sliding a couple of um, the rest of my mugs on there maybe. And it has a drawer. Uh, why is the nightlight on the floor over there? And then I just have like, I was going to use them for sugar, but I decided not to. So I just put them down there with my big white truck. I got to wipe off my microwave because I decided to put my microwave in here too. But let me see if I can get back and give you guys a full view of my coffee bar. But yeah, that's my coffee bar uh, right there. I like so I got to get put the sugars in there and I got to get another syrup. I think I want to get like just the regular caramel or chocolate, but I have to make sure it's the one that doesn't have to be refrigerated. And I actually, I love it. All oh, my K-cups in here, they're like this. You can tell this side we can use one this side. We kind of go in there and just, you just, whatever you pick is whatever you pick. So, yeah. And like I said, these, I've been finding a lot of these Ray Dunn mugs. Some came from TJ Maxx that I just bought recently. And a lot of them, I picked up a couple of them from the thrift store. This one says Fighter, Self Love, Sweetheart, Cutie Pie, and more. And then I have Mama Sita I have in there. I have one that says Beauty. And he has the one that says Beast for Beauty and the Beast. And I think it's one more. I can't remember what it is. But yeah, that is it. And now, like I said, I'll be hanging this up soon. Uh, I thought about putting it right there. But as you can see, that chart is right behind there. So what I might do is put it, put that, move that screw to here and put that right there. And then that should work out just cool. And then like these extra hooks. Maybe I just put like some decor pieces on there because a mug is not going to go there. Because as you see, this mug is already... Touching. Oh, sorry, I'm out of breath. Um, and what else? I think that's it. But yeah, so we gotta put our other copy up because this picture is moving to actually like right there that doorway. Um, this is before I got I got this picture the same time I got a couple of cow pictures, but I did not know I was only gonna do cows at the time in my living room. I mean, in my dining room, and it's been here for like two years now. It's been about two years, like two years now. Yes, I got the, I started getting the cow pictures in 2020. But it's going to be moved to this wall. And then my new picture is going to go up there. So he should be doing that later. And I will show you guys that. Whoops. Want to say hi? Mm -hmm. Hold on. Let me turn around. But want to say hi. Say hi. Hi. You ready to go back to school? Come on. Uh, yes. What grade are you going to be in? I do. Um, first. First. Yep. You're going to be in first grade. All right. So I think I'm about to make me something to eat. Um, I already got... No, I'm going to do it. I already got her bottle. This is, I took it out the refrigerator. Her breast milk bottle, so it's just coming to temperature. So I might have to put this in a warmer, though. Because it depends how long she's sleeping. It might not come to room temperature. She is still crashed on my bed napping. And, um... No, it's, it's I'm going to let her sit there because she's still asleep. And I'm about to finish drinking up this water. I love this thing, too, guys. This is what I got from... I showed you that I got from, um... Uh, Hobby Lobby. Oh, but else? I was going to show you guys really quickly. But, yeah, so I'm going to do that. Um, I want to read my devotional. We usually read ours together, so I might just wait till he gets home. And, well, no, I'll just read my individual ones myself. I used to read these on my vlogs a lot when I read my devotional, so maybe I'll start by doing it again. But, guys, this book right here, I read this to her last night. Absolutely love this book. Definitely would recommend this book. But, yeah, so I'm going to fish me something to eat. Before she decides to wake up the moment I get ready to get some to eat. So I said, the thing I'm just going to do is like, when I got some strawberry yogurt with some, I think I like birthday cake granola. Because I'm not super hungry. I do that. And then I'm going to get ready to put this food in the slow cooker because I just looked over and it's almost 2 o'clock. And so I need to get it. Hey, y'all. It's the next day. I just left from taking the girls to their eye appointment. And of course, little mama's in the back. Hello. I don't know if you see that little hand. You know, she has to make her hand appearances or whatever. <laughs> One video. I can't. The way they got this is so hard. I'm trying to get out in traffic, y'all. Hold on. I can't look at the camera. She was like a hand model. I literally cannot see. So are you, you know, a hand model? Called, oh, I'm not good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, She's trying to throw me out of traffic. So I'm saying, you good all these cars. You were good for a second. and then you weren't hey, good. This is ridiculous. I'm not about to do this. I'd rather take the long. No, well, I don't think it's the long way. But anyway. So yeah, we're on our way back home now because I want to put dinner on. Oh, don't we milk? I don't feel like it. I'm supposed to go get milk, but I don't feel like it. Their eye appointment took a lot longer than I thought, but that's because they were doing like a lot of walk-ins today. So everybody in Joe's mama, cousin, uncle, and auntie was in there getting glasses today. 
That's why I was so proud of once I said walk in. But y'all, she want me to go get some milk because she want me to make some macaroni and cheese. Don't think she want me to get milk because she likes milk. <laughs> I like it. It had nothing to do with the idea of I liking like to drink milk. milk. I like my calcium. Literally, she told me, and then before we left, she said, oh, if you go get milk today, can you go, you can make, you know, the macaroni and cheese and the dressing and stuff. <laughs> It ain't got nothing to do with nothing, y'all. I like my coffee. I'm gonna just like it through mac and cheese. It's already five o'clock, girl. And you know, dressing, you gotta make the cornbread first. Make the cornbread. That might take like what 30, 40 minutes in the um We have a really good oven. You no, know I'm saying it's gonna take like you know, cornbread must take like 20 minutes or so. And then as you make the cornbread, you gotta let it cool. That's another like 15, 20 minutes. And then you gotta make the pareto dressing. Now they gotta go in the oven for at least like 40 minutes, right? I got time. If you do all that, I don't got time. We won't be eating at like 8 o'clock. I ain't got time. I'm not right with that. I can just take a nap during the long parts. Anyway, I'm not doing with her. <laughs> no. Of, she can take a nap, but I'm in the kitchen slaving. No. No, we can take a nap don't, like, while the cook, like, like while, it's, while it's cooking. We can just take a nap. And then we we'll wake up. And then it don't feel like it's been a long time because we sleep. No, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll pass. But now we're on our way back home. She's not a trooper. Because she's I'm going to go back home. I'm about to make, give me something cold Ooh, to drink. Because uh, I'm going to feel this. And then, uh, yeah, see what the rest of the day brings. We don't have really much else planned for to do that. I'm getting sometimes. I don't got much else planned for the rest of the day that I know of. Um, I do need to do some laundry and stuff. So, I don't know. This vlog might be like a little short, quick vlog. But it's all about your girl being consistent. You know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. consistent. Because she's back. Yeah. Very much so. But it feels amazing out here. It's just that I didn't expect for us to be in an eye doctor. I mean, it's only 5 o'clock and our pump was at like 3 50 ish. But usually you can in and out of there within like 20 minutes. But because they were doing walk in, they started back doing walk ins. Everybody in there. Everybody. Just everybody in there. So, yeah. But I will see you guys when I get home. I thought about going to get something to drink, but I'm like, I don't feel like Because last time I went to Starbucks, <laughs> she got her a fish. We don't need to talk about it. All I'm saying no. Y'all don't get the matcha drink at Starbucks. Y'all have got that one friend when you go somewhere and they always want to try something new and then they're being nasty and they mad at you because your stuff not nasty. Yeah. I got a pineapple refresher. Delicious. Amazing. This one decides, you know what, mommy? I'm going to get me a matcha iced latte or some crap. She tastes it. So she's like, Ma, I, you know, I pay for it. I said, no, you ain't got to pay for it. I pay for it. And then she goes, taste like, mm-mm. So she's like, my taste. I said, I don't want to taste it here because my taste buds are really sensitive. I don't want to taste it because if I don't like it, you know, I don't want to taste it. She's like, just taste it. Taste it. When I swallowed it, why did it taste like tuna fish? No, it's like tilapia. Well, she said tilapia. It's bad. It tastes like fish. Never again. So she's like, I don't want it. I said, you're going to drink it. You're going to pay my money back. Nah. Nah, I want my money. Nah. I want my money if y'all drink it. It was not good, and then they, no, they got no line today, but it wasn't, um, it was, it was not, it wasn't giving, it was, it was giving very much so, uh, Son of the Sea. Well, okay, at first, it just makes it like a green drink, and then she has the nerve to say it takes it like, they should have like, you know what, it do. I told her I don't want to taste it. My palate is really sensitive. I don't want to taste it, because I'm going to say it, she insisted, so I told her, she insisted, and she said, you know what, it it was definitely giving my soul son of the sea, a little finding Nemo. <laughs> it was giving little mermaid. <laughs> it was it was giving everything but what it was supposed to be giving. So no. But I'll go home and uh make me a ice drink or something. Even though our ice maker broke y'all. I'm so mad about the ice maker. We didn't, we didn't have it for do we have it for a year? No. I think we did have it for a year. About a year. About a year. So I would say give me his money my money's worth, but it can give me my money's worth for five years and I'll be more happy. I know I should have, but yeah, but anyways, let me uh, pay attention because we're, we're in the, uh, this neighborhood, love to <coughs> try to pull you over nothing, so let me pay attention to the road, and I will see you guys when I get home, plus I know he about to call my phone, I will see you guys when we get home.